your time at 617. A group of students in Longview is taking an ordinary house appliance and making a tool fit for a chemistry lab. The project at Laterna University is being funded by grants and if successful, could change how students conduct experiments. Our Alex Decidus joins us live this morning with more on how the research could make a big impact in the science community. Good morning, Alex. Morning, Lexi. That's right. We see these microwaves in our kitchens and even right here in our break rooms. But students at Waterno are working to modify these into something that can better handle chemical reactions. And now they're modifying things that can save time and even the department a lot of money. Laterno professor Bruce Hathaway says it's a project that's been done before elsewhere. But the modification he's working on boils down to saving his students time and the department money. Some people actually did modify regular microwave ovens like we are and showed some effects so we're really trying to reproduce some of what they did kind of like going back to the 80s. This version is a little more advanced than the 80s models but the concept remains the same. However unable to control pressure like its $25,000 professional grade cousin, Hathaway's version does have a venting tube surrounded by cold water which keeps gases from the reaction away from researchers. So what might take hours to heat on a plate is down to minutes in the microwave. If we can get reactions to go faster, then um, students in the labs will be able to accomplish more in just the short amount of time we have in a semester. McAllister, who joined the project this spring, says it's still early in the experimenting but already they've been able to see positive results. And we've gotten some of them to work, but others, it's better off just uh, refluxing it. So we've made progress, but there's more to learn. Hathaway says the research will continue to press for faster reactions. Ideally, if the microwave method turns out to be much better, then we'll, I'll modify another microwave so we can have two. And if a reaction only takes five minutes in the microwave, then we can just run students through now Hathaway says that if they can reliably speed up reactions, they could present their research to the American Chemical Society as early as next year. Live this morning, Alex Ositis for Good Morning East Texas. Thank Lexi. you so much, Alex, for that live report.